Hi there, the Kindle Oasis is my favorite e-reader by far. I use this device every single day to read my books. One thing I don't like about it though is how fragile it is. Ever since opening it from the box, I immediately knew this device needed a case, mostly because it's very slippery to hold. It's like an iPhone. You could use it without a case, but really, if you want to use it every single day and throw it around, you have to have a case on it. Now, when I first got this device, I bought a third-party case off of Amazon I didn't want to pay the full price for the Amazon branded ones and I used that for almost a full year but I recently got both the Amazon leather case and the Amazon fabric case and I want to compare all three cases head to head. Now the first case I want to talk about is that third party case. Now I bought this case with my Kindle originally and I bought it for a few reasons. Firstly, it was the cheapest one. This costs less than $20. These other ones are much more expensive. And for a case, I wasn't sure how much I'd be reading or how much I'd want to invest in my Kindle. So I got a cheap case and it was not a bad decision. It was really good for the price I paid for it. The other reason why I got this case is because it has a few extra selling points that the Amazon cases just don't have at all. The one main one being is you can actually fold this into a stand. It's called the origami case and it's really, really handy to be able to flip it open and have a stand and use it on a table. However, I've actually never ended up using that feature of the case. So even though it seemed like a good selling point when I bought the case, in reality, I never actually used it because I'm always holding the Kindle in bed or on the sofa. I'm never reading my Kindle on a table. With that being said though, one thing I really do enjoy is even though I don't use the case as a stand, because it kind of folds open, I really do love opening this because it feels like opening a book. The top part of the case kind of bends as you open it up from the sleep position. And that makes a much better feeling when you're opening up your Kindle from sleep mode. Again, that's more of a subjective thing. Functionally speaking, it has no significance at all. I never use the stand part. It just feels nice being able to bend it open and have that flippy part move around when you open up the Kindle. And speaking of that flippy part, I do want to talk about it. It actually has a very nice soft interior. And when you're holding your Kindle for the case folded over the back, having that soft interior is really nice. I think it's probably the softest interior compared to the other two cases and that works very well when you're holding it. It's just much more comfortable and pleasant to hold. Now the whole reason why I'm making this video is because I actually could no longer use this case anymore and that's because the threading on the case started to come loose. There were all these random fabric threads coming off the sides. I was actually picking at them and then they just get loose even more and then more would come out it was just getting really really bad so the case is really functional it's really nice it was really good quality but after a year of use and throwing it around my backpack and things like that I really had to replace it because the threading came loose and it just really doesn't look good anymore from the outside next case I want to talk about is the Amazon official fabric one this one starts at $40 so look here double the price of the other one that I just talked about but it's an Amazon branded one and you definitely get what you pay for the quality seems to be much better. Now when you buy this official Amazon case, you do have a few color options to choose from. I got the blue one. I was very hesitant about this. I wasn't sure how I'd feel having a bright color on my Kindle, but I'm really glad I got it. Blue is my favorite color if you didn't know, and just having a nice bright Kindle really brightens it up, and I really look forward to picking this device up and holding it. It just looks so pleasant, and that blue they have is really, really nice in my opinion. The case is made from a fabric material that's water resistant, so that's very helpful if you read by by any kind of pool or the tub or the beach, whatever it might be. And also the biggest difference between the other case I just talked about is there's no flippy part. It's just this solid cover. And I don't know how I feel about this quite yet. I do miss having that ability to kind of fold it open like a book, but at the end of the day, it really isn't that big of a deal. It's just a solid piece. It actually does feel much more solid. It just feels more durable because it's just one giant flap. And when you hold it upside down on the other side, it still feels very, very soft. The interior is this microfiber material, but I wouldn't say it's as soft as a third party case. The third party one was much softer. This one is a bit harder because the flap is just one solid piece of plastic on the inside. The material seems a bit more rough, 
but the microfiber is still soft enough where it doesn't hurt your fingers while holding it like this. And one more point that I do want to mention, both for this case and the next one that I'll be talking about, is it took me a few days to get used to holding this case. For some reason, the edges, both on the bottom and the corners and the sides, they're just a bit more rough. Especially on the bottom, I hold my Kindle with my pinky kind of holding it up from the bottom. And if you have it in the right position, the flap will kind of like cut into your pinky. It's not like a painful thing or anything like that, but it definitely gets sore if you hold it for a long period of time. Now the last case I wanna talk about is the official leather case by Amazon. This starts at $50, so it's really expensive for a case. But what I find hilarious is they have a premium leather one, which costs $65. I did not buy that, but the only difference there is a the leather material they use is more premium on the premium model. This is just the basic leather one. It's still really, really nice. 50 bucks, I don't think I would recommend paying this much for a case, but if you want a nice leather case, this may be the way to go, especially if money is not a concern for you. It only comes in two colors, black and red. I chose the black one, I'm really happy I did. It has a very timeless look to it. And everything else is basically the same. There's no extra feature besides the fact that it's made of leather. And also, I do want to mention that leather does wear down over time. So I've only had this for a couple of months now. I've been switching between the fabric and leather case, so I haven't really had to use it too much so far. But I'm guessing if I use it every single day for a year, it will wear down and have a bit more character after using it for a long period of time. Now, the inside of the case is still plastic, so I still have that same issue holding it. It took me a couple of days to get used to it. The edges are a bit rough and it still hurts a little bit when you first use it for a couple days but putting that aside everything else is exactly the same as the fabric case there's one big difference though when you're holding the case when it's open the back is much more slippery so you're gonna see that it kind of goes up and down a little bit and it slides around a lot more when you're holding your kindle now this really doesn't happen too often but if you really look closely and put them side by side i definitely saw that the leather case was much more flimsy compared to my fabric case fabric on fabric is much more durable it's not going to move around too much but leather on leather is very slippery and luckily this doesn't move too much but you will see if you actually move around while walking around maybe while reading a book or something like that you may have that issue of your kindles sliding around because of the leather case now all of these cases use magnets to keep the flap shut when it's in sleep mode, that all works the same across all three devices. No complaints about the magnet and how sticky it gets. One thing I will say is in third party case, it kind of opens up much more randomly when it's in sleep mode. When you do this, it'll actually wake up from sleep. Whereas the other ones, it only wakes up when you actually flip it open. That's one more point to note. When it comes down to it though, at the end of the day, here's what I recommend when it comes to buying a case for your Kindle Oasis. I recommend buying the official fabric case by Amazon. Yes, it does cost twice as much as a third party case, but I do see this case lasting an indefinite period of time compared to this third party case. I don't wanna buy something that will only last a year. It really doesn't make any sense. And for this one, yes, I could keep using it, but I really don't wanna have a case that looks like it's been completely worn out. And after a year of using this thing, it does look like it's been worn out. The official case, I have a feeling, is gonna look much nicer. I'll get back to you in a year to make sure, but I can just tell by looking at it, there's no defects. It's really nicely sealed. The fabric is very high quality. It looks really good. Now, putting that aside, if you really want that folding feature to hold it on a table, then yes, third-party case is obviously the only way you can do that. And also, if you have money to burn, the leather case is definitely much more premium, and you can definitely get a much more elegant feel with that. So it really comes down to what your budget is and what your preference are for long-term use. Now, if you want to avoid buying a case completely, you may want to check out the Kindle Basic or the Kindle Paperwhite. I actually have a video that talks about which Kindle might be best for you. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.